Greetings everyone in Jesus' mighty name. I hope that you all are doing well. I know I have not been on for a while and I'm here to continue the last message where I stopped and I, well, there was an indication that it was part one. So this is part two of the message. Why is it easier to live sinful than to live righteous? Now, I stopped around where I was speaking about living righteous requires more effort. Um, also, it's like losing weight. And you know when someone is um, has a desire or a goal to lose weight, they want to lose the excessive fat or based on toxin or diseases or illnesses they may be suffering. So there are many benefits when one decides to lose weight and living righteous um, in that walk, that life, it requires um we make sacrifices to lose weight which is like sinful on the weight now living sinful um is like gaining weight right but in this case also uh when you're not living specifically for the lord speaking about jesus christ um it's easier to gain friends right because they are so much more persons that are living on God versus living for God, right? And um, um, it's also easier to get famous. And we could, most of us can, can attest to this, looking at, just looking at the secular music in comparison to what's by music, right? A lot of this music is about someone's lifestyle or some kind of behavior, and a lot of them tend to be about sexual stuff and all these kind of things. People gravitate to those things, right? Than to be actually listening to something about God. It tends to be harder to even want to listen to something about God, right? And it depends on the person, should I say, their likes and dislikes and all these kind of things, right? Their personality, their culture, and all those things. So, it's easier to get famous, right? And it's not just talking about fame, you know, like if, let's say, we as people in Christ want to get famous. But, um, just saying, it is easier. You can do the most foolish thing, like even on TikTok, these trends, foolish trends. Like some of them are very ed educational, but there are others that are just a whole set of nonsense. People doing, exposing themselves and getting these whole set of views for lots of foolishness, right? Degrading themselves. No, when one desires to live righteous, please be expectant to lose friends. And I'm talking not just based on someone else's illness, but based on my own experience. Um, also, people will hate you more. Now, this is biblically, um, biblical evidence, so the Bible indicates that. But not just the Bible. I've had my own experiences. Not just family is going to hate you, but the people in the world is going to hate you. And then the worst of it all, there are even some people in the church that hate people in the church. You know, as the Bible says, the wheat and the tears will grow together. So in the church, not everybody in church is a saint. Not everybody who is preaching or who's a pastor of the church is of God. They are false Christ, false ministers, all kind of thing. Anybody in church, right? So that's why we have to be extra careful and so forth. So, you know, the more clean we want to get in our spiritual lives and our walk with Christ, we need to sacrifice more. And certain uncleanness or which is really referred to also as sinful behavior when it comes on um some of them comes on through prayer right quite a number of them but on the other hand there are certain um sinful lifestyle and characteristics and those things that only come out when we take our sacrifice up a notch and when i say up a notch i mean we need to Take it to fasting, right? That's the real deal when it comes to sacrificing to God. And I would like to read a scripture based on that Matthew chapter 17. I'll read verses 17 to 21 states that then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? 
How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have, have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to, to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible with you. How be in this kind with not out but by prayer and fasting? There are certain things that some of us, including myself, may need deliverance from, and it will not go until you take your sacrifice up a notch through prayer and fasting. Um, another thing is that a question for you all how many of us are willing to sacrifice? to live that righteous life, to maintain that lifestyle because when you get there you have to maintain and of course try to continue to grow um so and there are some people i believe that want to be righteous but the issue is that they study what others are going to say about them right they study about losing friends they study to please people and you got to understand when for us who are alive at this very moment, right? Um, when God is ready to take us out of this world, a lot of us we going on our own, right? So some of us, our friends may remain, or they may go and you remain for a while and all this kind of thing. So you need to think about it for yourself as well, you understand? Um, so I would give another question, right? So, you all can ask me if you're curious, because I mean, I don't have a problem telling you all, I'm going to see it in this video. Ask me how many friends I have. Ask me how many friends I lost, so how many friends I thought I had when I was not serious with God. Right? I had someone recently told me, that's a while ago since my last video, um, that they missed a certain part of me. Um, based on when I was not serving God for real, you know. But in closing, not to drag this video too long, I'm going to read John chapter 3 verses 19. And that says, um, and this is a condemnation as a judgment. Um, the light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than lights because their deeds are sorry were evil so as jesus speaking here of course jesus come into this world to bring light to be that right light to be um that example to show us the way that is truth that is holy that's pleasing unto god and of course the world has its way to want to do its own thing to pre um to be followers of the enemy as in satan and stuff but the key in one of the key things that was mentioned in the scripture is that men love darkness i want to say darkness not only place dark i can't see nothing but men love darkness that's sin rather than they like light which is wholeness and stuff because they they these they, they, they were evil they do evil things right there are lots of people even in this day and age they love to do evil so coming to christ living righteous is not an option for them so you all this is the end of this message i hope it was a blessing to you all and take care i will see you all god's willing bye